or subscribe. Welcome to the Great Outdoors. Rude, and then when I'm trying to pick him up, he's like, ah! he's jump. Yeah, they are uh, very powerful. What is that? Wow, man, that's a Florida soft shell turtle. The Florida soft shell turtle is an ancient looking creature with an elusive lifestyle. This is a very sleek or streamlined turtle that is an excellent swimmer with paddles for feet, a flattened carapace, and a flexible shell make this easily the fastest turtle here in Florida. These guys swim with the big boys, the American alligator. In fact, that's the number one predator for the soft shell turtle, after man, of course. You may remember the last one I had to rescue off the side of the road. Millions of years of adaptation have allowed the soft shell turtle to compete with predators like the American alligator. An extra long neck and a small straw-like nose allows it to get a breath of air without ever even leaving a ripple in the water. Mankind has created its own set of problems for animals like this. It's up to us to try to preserve and maintain our ecosystems. That way these creatures have a chance at survival. We've increased the uh, biological diversity of our ecosystem here, which started out as a field. This is the first image of the field that was ever taken when we actually purchased the property. As you can see, there's one tree in our property. Since then, we've added hundreds of species of plants. And since we've added hundreds of species of plants, many different animals have come to check it out and survive and sustain in our ecosystem. Right here is a small species of snake. It's actually a large species, but this guy's not large. This is a juvenile red rat snake. You see his tongue flickering like that? That's him sensing his environment, trying to detect any prey items. Or any potential predators. Right to the snake's side is a large orchid spider. This orchid spider is neither prey or predator to this red rat snake. The red rat snake may not feed on the orchid spider, but the green and old does, which is a valuable food source for the red rat snake. In a sense, the red rat snake is this orchid spider's protector. It's amazing how many different symbiotic relationships we don't fully understand. We've talked about turtles, and we've talked about babies. Baby snakes, that is. Does that remind y'all of anything else in a previous video? Well, I have some good news to report on. Our baby turtle egg that we rescued from human encroachment has hatched, and I'm still waiting for a good name to name this little guy. It's a three-line musk turtle, which is the world's smallest turtle that is commonly kept in captivity. What do you think the name of this baby turtle should be? Post that in the comment section below. And if it's a good one, you may get a shout out right here on my channel. Thanks for watching this video. Hopefully we'll see you again in the great outdoors. Moving bro, I'm dead serious. Right there, look, there's his head. Thanks for watching this episode of the great outdoors. I'm your host, Alex, the Florida wildlife guy. Hopefully we'll see you in the great outdoors. When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life, and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support, it means a lot to me, the Florida Wildlife Guy.